Welcome back guys! Today we are going to take a look at soldering irons. We are going to tackle what type of iron you need for what type of purpose. As you can see here I have four different irons. If we go from the left, this one is a 15 watt. A fine tip is actually around 0.2 millimeter and this is one is done for very very fine electronics. I recommend this one for actually doing fine soldering. And we are talking about small small components on PCBs. I don't even use this one to solder wires. That's how fine it is and that's how low the, the, the actual current on it is. This one here on the other hand is a 30 watt iron. And even though 30 watt doesn't sound that much, a big difference you see between those two is the actual mass of this here. The thing about soldering is it's not always about the watt on the iron, it's actually about how much mass do you have on it, because that's the one that is going to transfer the heat over to the subject. It is still a pretty fine tip on this one, and, and this one is an iron that I keep with me and bring with me when I need to go out on the field and solder small wires and stuff like that. And it's perfectly fine. This on the other hand is another type of an iron. This is a 50 watt iron that sits on a soldering station. As you can see here, it's still pretty thick around this one, but still not as thick as this one. If I compare those two in soldering stuff, I would actually say that this one here delivers a touch a little bit more of energy than this one does. And that's actually because this one is thinner and have less mass. On the other hand, this one have a little bit better tips. A good thing about this one is also that you easily can remove it and switch out the tips that you have for it. So this one can easily be switched out to a smaller tip for fine soldering. When I need to solder very very fine stuff, I actually don't go to this iron here. I, I use this one and change the tip. You may be wondering, yeah, but I do want to solder bigger hefty stuff like batteries. 18650 batteries. So let's remove these three here. When it comes to soldering batteries, one thing you need to understand is that it have pretty much of a heat dissipation purposes because when you're soldering the end, the heat will transfer rather quickly. So what you need are something that can transfer a lot of heat to the cell fast. So you can do the soldering fast and then get rid of the heating source. Because what you don't want to do when it comes to 18650 is that you do not want to heat it for too long. Because heating this too long will cause issues and you may destroy the cell. Here you have something that are quite a lot of heftier. What you see here is somewhere around 100, 150, 200 watts of iron. I don't know how efficient or how big heater it does have. But what I do know is that you can see this tip here. It's very very thick and also the tip on the end is also very very thick copper. So this one when touching will transfer the heat very very fast and, and it also does have quite a lot of heat stored. And that's the important part. It's not always about the watt. You could heat this with a 15 or 30 watt heating element and it would still work as soon as this one has the temperature. When you are shopping for irons, you need to decide what type of soldering you are going to do. If you are watching this video, you may go to do some smaller stuff and some bigger stuff. Either you buy one of each. Have this one for the smaller stuff and have this big iron for actually doing batteries and stuff like that. I will be linking in down below all this type of irons that you can buy, what I would recommend to buy from eBay. You can of course buy them from any other source, but be aware of what you are buying and what you are buying it for. Regarding this bigger iron here, I will put up a link, I hope you can see it now. This type of iron is one that I would recommend as well. This one have a lot of heat that it can transfer due to the larger size of the tip. If you have problems soldering your batteries, first of all, make sure that the ends are clean. Secondly, I recommend to have some kind of solder that are a little bit thicker because doing that very very thin type you only need to mm, 
feed it with a lot of soldering. And I do recommend solder that are cored with flux or something like that. And I'm always using 6040 or somewhere around that lead based solder. 6040 or 3763 or whatever you are using, that, that's up to you and what you can get. And this is not that very expensive. Doing that, you will be able to solder the batteries very very quickly and it will only be a few that doesn't work. If you don't get the solder to actually attach to the tip and you get a blob, then you are either don't having proper soldering technique and you have don't have the proper solder or you picked this soldering iron instead of this one because it's so important that you get the flow out so when you attach this one press firmly do the soldering remove and you should be done so guys Hopefully you liked this video, I didn't go into soldering that much, but I did want to show you the type of soldering irons that I am using. They are not expensive, they are very very cheap, but they do work really great for me, and have been doing that for several years. And if you want to buy a type of this one or any other, check the links below, I have links to everyone. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to check out my Patreon page, or my PayPal link that are below. And lastly, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do that as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!